This is a comparison between a Rotalk R242 gearbox here on the left hand side, the blue one. And over here, a Process Systems GB2 gearbox. Similar gearboxes. We've done a breakdown of both units. Down here you can see probably the breakdown of the GB2, of the, the Rotalk and the GBT over here. First obvious difference is that the Process Systems GB2 has a stainless steel shaft, 316, stainless steel external fittings, all the bolts. It has a stainless steel uh, grease nipple just here. And indicators on both are very similar. Over here with the Rotalk, it has just painted steel outside componentry and the shaft itself is just a painted steel plain shaft. If we go a little bit further over to the actual breakdown of the unit itself, looking at first of all the Rotalk unit, the first obvious comparison that we can see is the fact that the inside of this is not treated in any way. It has gear grease in it obviously. And if we look at the lid, you'll see that the lid doesn't have any treatment either. The other fact that we see straight away, if we come over to, uh, first of all, there's no seal around this face. It's just a metal-to-metal -metal face. If we go over to the process systems unit, uh, we can see that there's treatment in the inside of both castings here. And it has a gasket between the two, the lid and the top of the body itself. The two drives are similar. This has an O-ring top and bottom to seal it. This is an IP67 rated gearbox, so it's designed for immersion proof, and it's a hence it's the reason why it has its 316 fittings. The unit little stops on the outside, which go on the outside of the, the gearbox for being able to adjust. They have a 316 stop. It also has an O-ring seal inside here. So when you adjust it, that O-ring will stop any water ingress into the actual gearbox itself inside here. And of course you can top it up using, if we turn this over, the grease nipple. The O-rings on the shaft assembly here. Seal on the lid and also on the inside of the housing and the actual stainless steel shaft if we look at it over here has no ring seal and if we look at the thrust race washers that have come out either side to take the loading when you put the gearbox on it has actually a proper little roller uh, bearing either end inside that unit it takes your loading when you've started to crank some serious torque into here. If we come over to the actual unit itself, they go on either side of this, of the end drive here, both cases. And that pin goes through to hold the shaft in place. And the O-ring seals inside the end housing here. And it goes in. So these are Tested to IP67 rated, certified IP67. Obviously, grease goes inside them. If we go back over to the Rotalk unit, similar sort of device for your, your drive. Uh, the drive itself has a, a seal on the end here. It's still in place. But the I think the other thing that's different is the fact that the stops here, which are just plain metal, don't have any seal. They've just been sealed with, looks like a PTFE sealant. If you open and close that a number of times, then chances are you'll get water possibly going inside. The housing also has O-rings top and bottom for the drive assembly. 
So it seals in a similar way, except I think the one thing that's missing, or two things is missing, is the, the difference between the two is there's no gasket between top and bottom, and also the fact that the there's no seal on the actual stops. Is there any bearing for the... Yes, it's uh, just a shim, is it? Just shims. if we look at this, in the worm drive, in the worm drive, there's no thrust bearing. It's just a plain shim to take your loading. And satisfactory when it's plenty of grease, but over a period of time, if the grease is removed, that possibly could wear inside there. And there's no way of putting grease back in again because there's no grease nipple. Both shafts look like they're centerless ground, is that correct? No, they're not. This is a, um, I'd say, a rolled and painted steel shaft, whereas the stainless steel shaft 316 over here is a centerless ground shaft, which gives a better seal. It's much smoother. If you do fill up grease, is that shaft O-ring Okay, well yes, with the with the O-ring, in fact, it's an advantage because grease can, if it's overpressurized, can go past the O-ring. Lip seals, if you do grease them, there's no grease nipple on this, uh, can pop with grease pressure.